Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Titan Weasel of the Otherworldly Gamers. I'm sorry I have not been posting recently, but I'm also building a computer at this moment to actually start posting more. I'm also going to be out for a few weeks because I'm spending time with family that is coming from town. Uh, so, I have a guest today, uh, and probably for a few days this week, it's going to be uh, Freelancer Josiah. Enjoy. <laughs> Legends speak of an ancient evil known only as Cthulhu. It is said to have come to this earth from beyond the heavens. For eons, Cthulhu ruled from atop the great city of Rulia. While the legends are silent as to the fall of Great Rulia, they all foretell the same prophecy. Cthulhu will rise again. As the protagonist for a 90s era RPG. Folks, my name is Freelancer Josiah. Welcome to Cthulhu Saves the World. Now, bit of a pointer here. Titan Weasel is going to be away for a week or two with uh, family. So I'm going to be filling in with a bit of video content here. And first up, we're going to play a lovely little RPG known as Cthulhu Saves the World. And I gotta say, I'm excited to do this. This is a RPG in the style of the original Final Fantasy games, built to both pay homage and completely parody all the comedic elements of an ancient RPG. So, pretty much what it says on the tin. Let's see what actually is going on here, folks, so let's go. For the interpreter, and for sure, not too hard, not too easy. Probably what we'll play on. Easy mode! Because, you know, sometimes you just want to be babied a little bit. For the one who has walked into the darkness and returned, monsters are more powerful, blah blah blah. It's if you, you're good at these kind of games, which I'm not. I am NOT playing this! So let's go, folks. Welcome to Cthulhu Saves the World. Turn the dev commentary off. Alright, straight into the story. For countless ages, that unthinkable being known as Cthulhu has lain dormant in his underwater city of Rulia. Cthulhu, a being so terrible that his mere presence is enough to drive mere mortals insane. Cthulhu sleeps while the world above goes on, oblivious to his presence. Until tonight. Awaken, great Cthulhu! As Cthulhu emerged from the bay, the world seemed doomed indeed. But wait, what's that? A brave and mysterious stranger has appeared from high atop yonder cliff! He's very brave, very mysterious, nobody knows anything about him! Using a strange holy power, the mysterious stranger has sealed away Cthulhu's horrible power. His power drained, Cthulhu washes up on the neighboring shore. Defeated and dejected. After waiting all this time to have victory snatched from my grasp by a mere mysterious man, it is hardly frustrating. I must get my powers back. But how? Luckily for the world, Cthulhu didn't know the one and only way to break the curse and regain his powers. In order to break the curse and regain his powers, he would have to do the unthinkable. He would have to become a true hero. Only by becoming a true hero would his powers return to him. <laughs> Foolish narrator! 
While you were busy explaining the situation to the player, I was eavesdropping! Now I too know how a way to regain my power! Whoops! I, Cthulhu, do hereby vow to devote my life to becoming a true hero. But only so I can regain my powers, summon the death to surface, and destroy the world, of course. Of course. And thus, a most unlikely hero was born. Welcome to your new life as a wannabe RPG hero. And here we go, beginning the tutorials. I'm not gonna read these off. I see what you did there! <laughs> I see what you did there! Tab, key menu, yada yada yada. <laughs> no, Cthulhu, there's no quick save button. Insanity. Now this is a unique mechanic to this game. Basically, it's just what it says on the tin. Enemies take more damage from attacks, but some become even more dangerous when they're crazy. Basically, they go into Berserker mode. They lose defense and become a lot harder hitting. So basically, use it and then you just pulp them quickly. Yes, I'm sure you will, Cthulhu. Yes, fill up your combo count with hits. Yeah. Basically, combo. I'll explain that when we get into the first battle. And here we go. So, we are now taking the role of a very unlikely hero. And one-ups. Basically, these are going, I dorked this fight up, and I need another shot. I'll probably be using these. So, as I said, I can run around, I can move, I can look cool. Hello, what? A helpless maiden, you say? Yeah, Cthulhu, you've got a lot of problems, so... Not that. <laughs> For the sake of violence, go! Gooeys. They look like something I have around allergy season, but whatever. Alright. Here we go. You've got your simple options. Attack, tech, techniques... Spells, magic, potions, unite techniques we'll learn about later, and then protect. Pretty much, most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Attack is pretty straightforward, and they just be for obvious reasons. You hit one, they take a hit, and then they throw attacks at you. It's how it goes. Now. Now, this is Insanity Strike. This thing's crazy now. It's not amused. They hit about the same. Monsters do scale up in strength, as you might have seen there, so you are rewarded for finishing off battles quick and not uh, turning them into grinds. Alright, now. My combo meter is at four times, so I'm going to use my death blow mechanic. It's a combo finisher. It does a big hit. Okay. Quick explanation here. You can see on screen, but this is one of the reasons I love this particular old-style RPG. All enemies are defeated, you regain your full HP, and you regain some of your magic power. This game understands that we don't want to waste hours and tons of gold on stocking up on potions just to trek across a desert into a next dungeon. It understands this, it comprehends it, and it's like, you know what, we're not going to make you deal with that, let's go, let's get moving. I love it. Alright. Also, give this music a listen, guys. This is spectacular. Anyway. Cthulhu has leveled up. You gain HP, you gain MP, pretty basic level up mechanics, and then you get to pick an ability. Since any enemy gives strength or magic, basically it's... You can choose which way you want to do things. I usually make Cthulhu a fighter because he hits like a train. I'm not going to read things off unless y'all really want me to, so... I'm just going to let... I'm just going to let the thing play off. Maiden. What? <laughs> my sentiments exactly, Cthulhu. You what, mate? <laughs> I love this game. It's completely snarky. This is play may not... Nah, I don't even... Do I guy the true hero yet? No! <laughs> Shut up!
I can take this multiple ways, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> oh god, I know it's about to happen. The Great Kazoo requires groupies. <laughs> Cute fangirl shipping. So yes, party members, check commands. Random encounters are now activated. This is another thing I like. They understand, we don't want to deal with 10,000 random encounters. You fight 25 battles, and you move on. If you want to keep fighting, if you want to grind, you can hit the fight option. Here's the main menu, chat. <laughs> oh, my cinnamon's exactly like Cthulhu. Alright, so... Umi is going to pretty much be our, uh... Mage-type character? Mm. Miss Catonia. Really? Miss Catonia. First thing we gotta do is get through these caves. DC right here. DC is the save point. Hard driver marrying up while saving loading or viewing. Thanks. Really nice. Yeah. A lot of this game is just kind of snark, but it's actually got a rock-solid RPG element to it. But yeah, you hit a save point, you restore your magic power, and you can save your progress. Just like that. You can still save any time main menu, but you don't restore full MP. But yeah, here we go. Off to Biscatonia! Oh, this is too slow. Let's go. Random battles! Seahorses and an Uzumaki. Okay. Insanity! Siren's Call. This is... Alright. She's got physical power, she doesn't have a lot of strength to her, but she's there. She's got Siren's Call, she's basically a Siren, she can do that. Magic, she can heal, she can flood, water attack. There are elementals, you gotta keep that in mind. I'm going to use Siren's Call on the Uzumaki. Big hits. He's insane, he's now stunned. Seahorses is insane. Alright. Hit the Uzumaki and finish off the seahorse, please. Ow. Alright, so yeah, this game is, shall we say, really hard. Alright, let's see. Death Blow on the Uzumaki, Sirens. Uh, it's been far too long since I played a Hell Tower RPG like this. Good lord. Alright, Siren's Call. No. It's good to know. Thanks. I'm going to heal Cthulhu. Because the last thing we need is the big hitter going down. Alright. Death Blow the Seahorse, and then kill the Uzumaki. And there's that. Battle is clear. We gain full HP, some magic. And Umi levels up. Alright, I'm going to give her hide because she's going to be the caster. I don't want her getting beat on too much. Alright, here we go. Of course, like most RPGs, if you look around a little bit, you find goodies. Please tune it. Equipment, Cthulhu. Open, armor. Please tune it. Can be used by Cthulhu. Yeah, certain enemies can... Certain allies can only use certain things. In the fight, giant rat, crab, seahorse. Let us deliver a beating! Alright, let's see. Make the giant rat cuckoo. Make the giant make the crab cuckoo. And now we demolish the others, really. It's like, hit that, hit that. This is a fairly simplistic RPG when you get down to the core mechanics. But it's fun. A lot of what carries this game is the comedy factor. So let's see what we can do here. Just see. Go! 
Goblins! Goblins! Hero fodder and it knows it. Yeah. They're not very powerful. Alright. Him with the wolf with blood. That pretty much cleans things up pretty quick. If you use magic and do things right, you can clear a lot of these lighter enemies quick, which is good. It means you can actually explore a little bit and get the goodies that are all over the place. But we're mostly just going to be through here. This is still a pretty early game, so there's not going to be too much of note. Oh, there is a chest up there. I want that. And more fights. The fighting isn't bad. That's one thing I do like is they're like, all right, this is a fight. Let's go. We get things over it. All right. Pretty obvious that's not gonna do jack crap. So what we do is insane strike. We need Siren's call. All right. Push off the crab and the giant. Crab. And there we go. I do tend to blow through the combat pretty quick because I don't really see a point in making it last for long. It's like, a lot of the moot fights really, you can just blast through them and move on with your day. It's pretty generic RPG trade, but again, the plot will thicken rather quickly because there is more going on than what we know. Insane strike that fella, and then uh, the flood magic just to get rid of the everything. You can see I can pretty much blast things this early on in the game. Cthulhu's pretty tough. He doesn't take much guff from anyone. All right, any goodies around? I don't see any. See around battles, so we cross the bridge. Mm. No fight, just whatever. Magic, blood, magic, we're done. It's literally that simple. No problems, right? On our way to Miskatonia. Happy do 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 Cthulhu. Oh, what? Oh, for God's sake. Folks! Meet the stereotypes. Yeah, we got it. This game's got three idiotic stooges that are pretty much your generic stereotype villains. <laughs> Thank you, Cthulhu! Ah, puts them in their place. Hey! It's true, although blue hair's cool. No! I'm going to beat them up anyway. Ah... Uh. Again, I love this game. So yes, welcome to the generic mooks. I am not in the mood for this crap. So, having trouble adjusting 16-bit. Let's make you crazy and then hit you all with a flood. I'm not in the mood to deal with your crap. All right, the cleric takes less damage. The hero is now kooky. This will make things a little bit easier. I want to get rid of the cleric because then I can just kind of knock everyone else out. Right, Siren's call. Bring the thief out. This is why you want to kill the cleric fast. Cthulhu's down. Stand up, creature. Hit that. And then attack. I don't like clerics. All right. So yeah, this is your first properly difficult fight. So let's get things done. Cleric is now insane. 
get rid of the cleric, and then the rest of the fight becomes pretty child's play, really. I'm going to death blow this scum lord, and then I'm going to heal Umi. Because, good lord, these heroes are obnoxious. Hero, magic, heal, boom. Alright. Let's finish up the hero because he annoys the crap out of me. And now we deliver a beating. And there we go. And Rumi levels up. Or it's blind. Um, let's go with group blind. That way we can CC. <laughs> Screw the lame heroes. <laughs> Probably will respawn with your search. Yeah. Or they've used a phoenix down, or they've done something. They're fine. Yeah. Basically, you expect that to be the last you see of them. Oh no. The stereotypes aren't going to stay down that easily. Now let's haul over to Miskatonia, because that is where I will cut off this first video. I can reach that in time. Alright, goals, yada yada yada. You know the drill at this point. Just just blast things and destroy them. Hit level up. Flame strike. Like that because it's a nasty little hit. I'm sorry, but this music is amazing. I'll hear no one say otherwise. The Miskatonia! Obligatory cave sections! Yeah. This game really... I don't appreciate being interrupted with the Maki. So I'm going to get rid of you pretty much right off the bat, because you are going to be full. Completely. There we go. This game very much is one of those tiles that laughs at everything and pokes fun at every stereotype it can think of. For example, the three noble heroes. Please tell me I didn't just walk around in a full circle. I'll be less than pleased. Nope, made to a save point. And move on. I think I'm actually gonna cut this off now. So when we come back, folks, to Miskatonia! Till then, see y'all later.